gas because you know, the flames start to turn blue. With this and new methods we've got, video conferences, it's word for word, it's, it's lifetime, and we can relate uh, to people how things were, how they've changed. We can physically show by putting slides up and, and, and expressing it and lifting things and saying, this is what this is for, that's what that's for. Shin pads, and footballers appreciate why I wear shin pads, protective shins. Knee pads, we have big tough, tough leather boots, but even leather's not strong. If anything falls on your toes, it can hurt you. So we've also, in this boots, we've steel toe caps. If a school is too far away, or if um, they don't have time in their, their daily timetable or in their curriculum to take a visit out to a site, um, the video conference is it's half an hour, three quarters of an hour at the top and uh, they can they can have that interactive content without sort of leaving the classroom so in that respect you know they, they don't get any of the distractions of going off-site but um, all the benefits of, of having uh, an outside person come into them. David, one of our um, mining guides on site, is so a genuine former mine worker, former collier worker. We also have the capability, we've got a, it's, um, it's a, a contraption that looks a little bit like a, I guess a flatbed projector that has a camera attached to it so we can um, focus in on documents and objects. So we've used, um, for some of the sessions for, for Key Stage 3, Key Stage 4 groups, we've used um, our, uh, document, documents, uh, historical documents, where we're able to zoom in on the details and, and get schools to sort of analyse the document as if it's in their hands. Um, we use um, a video camera, a bit like a, a normal sort of family sort of um, video camera that we use with uh, green screen technology, very similar to, to that which is used on, on television to project a background behind us. Uh, no escape session that we offer for Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4 students is takes the form of an inquest of, a, of an historical character, so one of our um, interpreters plays the part of Lord Ashley who was a mine owner uh, when this disaster took place and then the students at school are able to act as the jurors um, and cross-examine cross -examine him uh, as part of the inquest. We sometimes used it where schools are just pre presented back to us, where a school that's been on a visit have um, you know, been inspired to do paintings and poetry and all that sort of thing um, and they've sort of done some stuff, they've made a presentation to us so you know that's really good if we can get some staff to kind of watch what the school's done. Did you get any diseases working down the mine? Uh, not really, no. Well, when we talk about diseases, they're not sort of diseases that you'll associate with with uh, with outside life. Uh, he told no, us that you know, uh, it'd be very uh, dangerous if a fire broke out and it'd be really hard to yeah. get out. And you've got to yeah. try to get out as quick as you can. And you, they have like a, a gas masky thing. And you've got to like put it over your mouth so then all the like the smoke doesn't go into your mouth. You get to know a lot more than what you've read in books or on the computer because it's a real person that is speaking to you about it all. Video conferencing should be good for literacy because you can talk to all sorts of um, famous writers or even just normal writers and find out what how they write books and what they do in their spare time. And I think it'd be good for like science and things so you can speak to scientists and find out what they do like in their job. It does lend itself right to work right across the curriculum, linking to other subjects. They probably didn't realise that they were in an IT um, scenario this morning, but it, it, it does link to the creative curriculum. I think uh, the children benefit from going to the, the local mining museum and uh, being hands-on, seeing everything. Uh, but I think it's the next best thing. Uh, the children can research on the internet, they can use books to find out what it was like in the mines, but to actually uh, come face to face with a miner who's got all those experiences is just amazing. And for the children to have their own questions answered, they thought it was fantastic. The kids can see me, I can see the kids, and you get that interaction. It's, it's almost been live, you can see the feelings. You can see if the head's going down that they're not interested, and you can up the tempo. It's interactive, and, and that's the beauty of it.